So, uh, this doesn't happen to me a lot, but um, I kind of may have my bearings mixed up here. I think that this peak in front of me is Homer Young's, Homer Young's Peak. Um, highest or one of the highest in the Beaverhead range here. And I'm a little bit more sure of that vista over there. You're looking across the upper Big Hole River Valley and that uh, those mountains in the distance are the uh, probably the west and or the east pioneers. Yeah, this trail, the way it, the way it goes, it kind of has me confused, but I think my destination lies over in here somewhere at the base of, at the base of that mountain, I think. Uh, one way to find out, and that's just to keep going. So I came in over that little notch right in there. Trail comes down and winds down this way. I'm not sure if this is a named peak right here. So I'm looking down Little Lake Creek. Those are the west and or the east pioneers in the distance. I think the high, the high peaks are the east pioneers and the low peaks in front of them are the west pioneers, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> and then Homer Young's Peak. And I've got a little hill to climb before I get to my destination. I'm within, oh, seven tenths of a mile, if that. in here. Um, this lake has four-year-olds. It was stocked in uh, 16 and then again uh, last year. It's stocked at three-year rotating intervals with West Slope cutthroats. So I'm in here hopefully looking for some three-year-olds. Um, it's Thursday, October 1st. We have an unusually uh, long string of really, really nice weather. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping to catch some nice cuts. Um, this, uh, this range straddles the Montana-Wyoming border. Um, I think the Idaho borders, I don't even know if it's a mile, um, a mile that way. Um, I came in from the Big Swamp Creek Road um, on the Continental Divide Trail. I saw two uh, backpackers that were um, kind of hiking some segments on it. They told me I was the third person they'd seen in four days. Um, there's a lady here on horseback um, that I kind of stumbled onto. Um, doesn't look like she's camped. 
Um, but uh, anyway, pretty place, and I uh, hope the fishing's as good as as good as it looks. I've been fishing for about five minutes, and I have my first hookup. Um, uh, I saw a cut cruising, and I had the fly out there, and he took it. I actually hooked him for a second, and then lost him, and. Uh, it out there again he struck it again and missed and I missed him and I did it a third time and here he is and this is a nice fish and this is what I came for this is a four-year-old and he is gorgeous Wow oh my goodness gracious this fish is I don't know he looks like he's about 16 16 inches he's gorgeous oh my goodness This is a male. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh my goodness gracious. What a beautiful fish. Been fishing for five minutes. Little Lake Welcoming Committee. Nice, beautiful West Slope. Show him to you again before I put him back. He's gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. Back you go. Now my very next cast after I release that fish, I have either the same fish or another one. I don't know, this might be the same fish. not. No, this I think is a different fish. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's a different fish. Another male. Beautiful, beautiful west slope. Real pretty west slope. Look at that. Nicest west slopes I've caught all year. Beautiful. All right. Got another one. I spooked one in here. A minute ago when I, I put the line down right over him and spooked him and um, and I got another one another nice fish So far, you know, when I'm in a different, I'm down the shoreline than where I was, all these fish are basically cookie, cut, cook, cook, cookie cutters. He's a nice fish. Let's see if I can get a picture of him. Oh boy, he's nice. He's, oh, well, that last fish, as I was trying to get a picture, I lost him. So I got another one here. Another nice, beautiful fish. Wow, he's big. Boy, there's a big fish in here. These, they're nice fish. Good fighters really put a bend in the rod. These fish are... Very nice four-year-olds in here, wow. Oh, 
I'd like to get a picture of this guy. Well, that's a nice fish. Wow, that's a nice fish. That is a super nice fish. That's a big guy. Wow, look at him. I don't know if you can see this boy. He's big. Wow. Super nice fish. He really has some heft too. Zoom in on him here. Wow. All right, I got a picture of this guy, and I'm going to attempt to show him. Oh boy, this is a big fish. Holy cow. Look at that. Now that's, a, that's how a four-year-old should look. My goodness. Beautiful fish, beautiful. All right, let's get you well, back. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna have some lunch. I've caught and released four. Um, these fish are cruising around. Um, I'm seeing some rises out there. Um, they're all, they've all been really nice fish. The last one, the last one I caught was really super nice. Um, probably about 18 inches. Um, yeah, there's these fish in here, they're exactly what I was hoping for. Um, really good, really nice fish. So, you know, I'll have a few more hours. Um, it was hard to tear myself away to eat because, you know, I'm working my way down the shoreline and catching fish, so that was pretty cool. Um, so, nice day. <clears throat> Fishing's good. New place. Um, not much more of these days left. It's, you know, the 1st of October and, um, you know, the <clears throat> high country fishing season's winding down and you can kind of see the snow on the mountains here from the, uh, from some recent storms we've had. But, uh, so just trying to take advantage of it while I can. All right, it's about 1.40, and it looks like I have my fifth fish. This one's the smallest of the day, but still looks to be about 12. the runt. Uh, he's, yeah, he's a fat 12. <clears throat> Little male. He's hooked kind of weird. There we go. There we go. Another nice, ooh. Ooh. All right.
He's about 13. <coughs> Another nice fish. See if I can get a picture of him. All right, let's get him. There he goes. Solid, nice fish, gorgeous fish. This is number eight. <clears throat> this is a nice, very nice fish as well. <clears throat> Get him without falling in here. Wow, look at him. Wow. Look at him. Look at him. Another super nice West Slope. Back you go. So I got here, I'm fishing the little outlet, and I spotted a fish and stalked him, and looks like I've got him. All right, so. <clears throat> He's pretty, pretty little west slope. Here we go. Here we go. And back you go. Oh! Oh, now, well. there's a fish out here that I'm trying to get to strike. But I don't know, he might be wise. We'll see what happens here. Okay, there he, he's coming, there's two of them. Got him. 
Oh! Oh, I missed him. That's no good. Boy, that was a perfect setup, too. So I'm going to try again. There's fish out there. So we'll see what happens now. These fish are hard to see. They're not as easy to see as they were up in Idaho cruising. Okay, there's a fish that rose off to my right. Let's see if he comes in closer. So I've missed my last two. I've hooked and, and hooked and, oh! See, I wasn't paying attention. Now, we'll see what happens here. If I get him. The one I lost here, uh, the second one, or the previous one I lost, was a really nice, was a big fish. This guy's all right. He's pretty. He's very pretty, all right. Oh boy, he's very pretty, yeah. Got a really pretty crimson belly. Let's see if I can get a picture of him. There he is. A pretty west slope. He's hooked pretty good. He's hooked pretty good. I'm going to have to use my force. All right, everybody. I kind of want to show you something. Um, and this is a typical fall in the high country in the northern Rockies. And here's what I want you to see. Um, what you're going to see here is a bunch of ants, winged ants. All right, there's a whole bunch of them. And these typically start in, uh, these winged ants, they, they typically start in uh, late August and you'll find them all the way through September into October. Um, I've seen them in Wyoming, the Beartooths, the East Pioneers here. Um, they're pretty much a staple. They're very 
you see that there's a lot of them. I mean, they're, it, it's like clockwork. You can expect them in September, early October, even late August. Um, and of course I use ants all summer long, but these guys, um, when they get blown onto the water and there's a lot of them, the fish can kind of be selective to them. Basically a good, you know, good ant pattern will work. Um, Gary LaFontaine, um, his, he has a, he, of course he had the foam ant, but then he also had one that was a winged foam ant where it's, uh, the wing is tied with just a, a little bit of uh, clear or white antron to simulate the wing, and I carry those. I haven't used them today, I've just been using my regular black ant. But, um, yeah, very important. If you're going to fish the high country in the northern Rockies in uh, August, late August, September, and October, um, don't be without wing dance. Like I say, though, the I use ants all summer long. It's my, it's kind of my favorite pattern. is a little lake. Well, <clears throat> it's not quite the departing shot I wanted because you don't have a clear view of the lake, but I'm back on the Continental Divide Trail. Little lake is down there. And Homer Run Peak, or Homer Young's Peak, I'm sorry, Homer Young's Peak. probably can't do any better. What I should have done, I should have walked back and around the end, back up the trail a little bit and climbed and I probably could have got a, a, a good picture or a good, uh, good departing shot. <clears throat> Homer Young's Peak, looking down Little Lake Creek towards the upper Big Hole Valley and believe those high peaks in the distance are the East Pioneers. This is a better, less obscured view. Absolutely wow. So this is the closest I've ever been to one of those. You can barely see them there in, in the tree, maybe moving around. That's a martin. That's a pine martin. Um, he ran across the trail in front of me. Um, they look like a huge squirrel, but they're a weasel. They, um, they're actually in the same family as the badger and the wolverine. And there he goes. He kind of went halfway up that tree and uh, now he got down. I was hoping we might get another glimpse of him, but probably not. Oh, nope, he's still there. He's down there at the it, behind the tree. You can barely see his head moving if you look real close. There he goes. That's a Martin. All right, <clears throat> I'm at the uh, top of the saddle between Little Lake Creek and Big Swamp Creek. I'm looking down into Big Swamp Creek. Um, you can kind of, if you see, there's kind of a line in the trees right there on the other side of the canyon. That's the, that's the road, the Ajax Lake Road. And then if you look really close, you'll see a body of water there. And I believe that to be Lena Lake. So my destination is down there uh, on that road. I have no 
idea what peak that is. All right, well, it's a uh, quarter to six on Thursday, October 1st. I'm about out of here. I've just uh, completed the switchbacks down the hill from the uh, first climb this morning and crossed Big Swamp Creek. So I think the road up here is, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, a third of a mile. Um, Wings certainly tell the days are getting shorter. Uh, it was, uh, hike was a little bit tough for me just because it's been three weeks since I hiked. You know, my last trip, which was to Idaho, on that uh, mega trail up to Betty Lake, that was three weeks ago today. And even though I do an elliptical four times a week, um, when you're not hiking at elevation, you lose some of that acclimatization. And so I felt it a little bit. I did all right. Um, but I did feel it a little bit. Um, first trip over here, you know, I've, this summer, um, I've, uh, I've hiked and fished, and I get six, six different mountain ranges in three states. Um, four different ranges in Montana, one in Idaho, one in uh, Wyoming. The fishing up here was really good, really good. Um, I caught and released 10, lost several others, and uh, these were four-year-olds, and um, they were in really nice shape. I mean, I think there was one or two fish that may have pushed 17, 18 inches. Um, pretty good lake. A pretty good lake. I see the road ahead. So uh, that's it. Hopefully I'll get another one in before the snows come, but you never know.